we have all used the duster in school right what is the duster made up of the duster is a sponge and what shape is it in it is in a cuboidal shape so have you ever tried placing this sponge in water have you noticed what happens it absorbs the water so now in the next experiment i am going to show you why the sponges absorb water so shall we begin the experiment for this experiment you will need yes the sponge or the duster that we use a vessel and some water so the sponge the vessel and water shall we begin so first i'm going to pour water you know what i'm going to do yes i'm going to place the sponge in the water first if you touch it it is light and when you press it you can feel the elasticity now i'm going to place it in the water so we saw the level of water that i poured at first so i'm completely immersing all the sides in water and now when i remove it you can you see the amount of water in the vessel has decreased so where did that water go it was absorbed by the sponge and now when i press it out you can see water coming out from it so this proves that the sponge absorbed the water so once again when i place it in it is ready to absorb the water again and now when you carry it you can feel the weight so coming to the science part behind this these sponges are made of loose fibers and there are a lot of spaces between them so there is a lot of air spaces in between the holes between the sponge fibers absorbs the water since there are air spaces in between the water gets trapped in those spaces and so the sponge material swells up with water and a damp sponge will absorb more water than a dry sponge this is because of again yes the cohesive property water molecules are highly attracted to one another So if you place a dry sponge it will absorb lesser water and if you place a sponge that is already wet that is the damp sponge it will absorb more water so now i hope you understood the science behind the sponges and their absorption quality